when we talk about overburdened neighborhoods, we're talking about this. Incredible amounts of pollution concentrated in one neighborhood of low-income black and brown people. Residents and environmental activists are furious about a proposed plan to develop a new power plant in Newark's East Ward, just off the Ironbound section. There is no other community in New Jersey that has two power plants. How is it that we're going to have one that has three? There's a lot of communities that don't have one power plant. They don't have one sewage treatment plant. They don't have one garbage incinerator. We have it all. Add to that heavy truck traffic and several nearby factories that have led to increased health problems for residents. Things like increased rates of childhood asthma. But this isn't your average natural gas power plant. This one's being created as a backup energy source for the Passaic Valley Sewerage Commission, or PVSC, that processes sewage waste for 48 North Jersey cities and towns, hundreds of millions of gallons each day. During Superstorm Sandy, power to the Sewerage Commission went out, and the nearby Newark Bay filled with more than 800 million gallons of raw sewage. It was then that PVSC started plans for a backup power plant. Backup energy, energy resilience is important, but this facility hasn't shown that what it proposes to do is the best, most just way to achieve energy resilience. For example, we have a power plant that is right across the street from this facility. The most logical way for them to achieve energy resilience would be a direct contract with that power plant. Activists are calling for other renewable energy sources to power the plant, but PVSC has outlined a number of challenges with renewable, saying that solar and wind power would be unreliable as backup energy during a storm without battery power to store it. And the space required for those batteries would be 17 times the size of the Prudential Center, which doesn't exist near the wastewater treatment plant. But new state and federal laws put limitations on what PVSC can do. The, the law that we just passed um, prevents us from giving permits to facilities that add to the cumulative burden. Because the project is considered a major source of air pollution, the Federal Clean Air Act requires a Title V permit from the state's Department of Environmental Protection. And New Jersey's 2020 environmental justice law requires that such projects consider the public health impacts on the community. Yet, in spite of the required permits, the PVSC board will vote on Thursday to determine whether to start construction without the permits. It could put political pressure on Governor Murphy to approve the project once taxpayer dollars start being spent. The board should have the permit first so that they're not investing at their own risk. Instead, the board decided to take a risk with other people's money, and I think that's just fiscally irresponsible, and it's morally irresponsible to do that in the face of so much community opposition when they're a public utility. But beyond that, the project creates a catch-22 because while it creates backup energy in the case of storms, it'll pump greenhouse gases into the air that'll fuel climate change, which helped Sandy become so powerful 10 years ago. The community is counting on Governor Murphy to step in. His administration offered no comment. I'm trying to hold out hope that Governor Murphy is going to do the right thing, stop this. Um, if he doesn't, it shows that he, he just used our communities as a political safety net. I would hate to see his legacy marred by the building of yet another power plant in an overburdened community. The clock is running down till the start of this project. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Joanna Gagas.